ARK Innovation ETF will reach $250 this year, a 280% rise from its current price. This exchange traded fund ETF price target by Dan Shiflett, investment analyst on the Bold Profits team, has us watching ARKK's price performance like a hawk. Investing in ARKK's basket of securities is no doubt taking a bullish position on innovative companies. Hello and welcome to Market Talk Monday on the Paul Mampilly YouTube channel. I'm Amber Lancaster. Thank you for tuning in. We're recording today's Market Talk on Friday, February 25th. And if you haven't had an opportunity, uh, please watch Paul's uh, Market Outlook video posted to this channel on Thursday, February 24th to get his perspective on market volatility and the Russia-Ukraine conflict. But today, uh, Dan will be joining in a moment to give an update on ARKK and three ARKK stocks that are ripe for a rebound. But first, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and post comments to this channel as it does support the channel. Let's begin. Since its inception date on October 31st, 2014, ARKK is an ETF that's focused on investing in equity securities of companies relevant to the theme of disruptive innovation. From the genomics revolution to industrial innovation, ARKK is all in. Since inception, the ETF's total return is 254%, but ARKK has its skeptics based on its recent performance. At one point, since inception, the fund reached a total return high of 737%, but has since dropped about 58% from its high in February of 2021. ARK's fund manager, Kathy Wood, is undeterred by this decline as she has, quote, confidently predicted that certain stocks held by ARK Invest would return to their pandemic highs, end quote. And we agree. ARKK and stocks represented in ARKK are ripe for a rebound. A disruptive technological innovations are dynamic and are worth the investment. To demonstrate this point, check out this mystery innovative company stock chart. Imagine buying this stock for $106 per share in 1999, only to see your investment plummet 92% by 2001. Most would have given up and cashed out. Most did. But for the few who held on with strong hands and believed where this tech stock could go, well, they held on only to see another massive drop of 65% in 2008. What a roller coaster. But for those who are long term bulls with persistence and patience and held on, would have realized a huge payday. Zooming out, you can see I'm talking about Amazon, of course. Investors who believed in Amazon's disruptive vision and held on tight, have realized a total return of over 3,400% just since 1999. Now that's some rebound. Now the companies in which ARKK invests, the companies Paul recommends across his investing research services, like Profits Limited, are these type of America 2.0 innovative, disruptive stocks of the future with great potential for gains. Yes. These will see big declines along the way of 58%, 65%, even 92%. But as long as their technology and their themes are sound and conditions are right, the sky is the limit. So let's bring Dan on now to answer a few questions on ARKK and get his take on ARKK companies ripe for a rebound. Hello, Dan. How are you? I'm well. How are you? Oh, very well. Thank you so much for joining me today, Dan. So to begin, Dan, I I just want to say that you have really touched on a subject that has sparked a lot of people's interest. ARKK is, but love it or hate it, people are talking about it. <laughs> and I know you've even received your share of questions on your price target of two fifty dollars uh, from readers such as Hardy P. Uh, they just want to know, are you still... Are you still bullish on on ARKK given its recent volatility? Uh, definitely, yeah. Um, so, yeah, ARK is definitely very volatile. Um, but you have to keep in mind too that in um, 
in, in 2020 to 2021, it went up like 200%, I believe. Mm-hmm. Um, and right now it's, it's down significantly. I believe just since November, it was over a hundred dollars. And this past Thursday, one dropped below $60. That's a 40% decrease, um, in just three months. Mm-hmm. Uh, and just as fast as it goes down, it can go up just as quickly. So it's, uh, it's really important to keep that in mind. And also ARC has been shorted at, uh, I think last time I checked was 17% short interest, mm. um, which means that these people are going to have to come in and, and buy up um, a lot of, a lot of ARC. So when that, when the tide does turn and growth does rebound, a lot of people are going to come in ARC and have to buy it all up. Um, and we've seen that growth stocks uh, throughout COVID have, have done very well and they have continued to grow as a company, mm-hmm. um, and ex- actually accelerate the whole, the whole growth process. So when it does rebound, um, I think, uh, a lot of growth is going to go up a lot, a lot faster and a lot quicker than, than people, people may realize. I like what you said there, the tide, when it turns, it will turn and it will turn for a rebound, fingers crossed for sure. So while I have you here, Dan, I promised that we would hear from you, uh, three air case stocks and in their, in their uh, basket of securities that are ripe for a rebound. So I'd like to get what you think those stocks are and why you think that's going to happen. Sure, yeah. Uh, the first stock that I think can rebound very well would be Robinhood. Mm-hmm. Um, Robinhood is a free trading platform that allows people to come in and buy stocks and even some cryptos. Mm-hmm. Um, it's it's essentially free. So a lot of retail investors um, definitely like to use Robinhood. Um, in 2020, it, they had 12 and a half million users and they um, almost doubled that. It was just over uh, 22 million in 2021. So a lot of people came in and, and started using Robinhood, which is uh, exactly what you want to see, especially in growth stocks. Yeah. And uh, truthfully, when COVID happened, um, a, lot of, a lot of companies crashed during the whole COVID crash, but when everything rebounded, that's when we saw a lot of people come in um, and, and, and um uh, and start using Robinhood and bidding up stocks. Um, we had a lot of cryptos that was going off as well, as well as meme coins. So you just kind of had an overall bull market um, and, and Robinhood really uh, prospered from that. And I think you can kind of see that when we come off these, these uh, lows and, and the, the fear that we have with high interest rates and inflation. Um, and additionally, Robinhood is extremely easy to use. Uh, the platform's um, really uh, targeting, I think, um, uh, younger younger investors and new investors. So they make it really simple for a lot of people. And I think it's important to keep in mind that Robinhood is also down 87% from its all-time high of $85. Mm-hmm. Um, and when people come back in Robinhood, um, I think a lot of people will, will, will uh, buy the company and, and end up bidding up the, uh, the stock price. Okay. okay. Uh, the next um, company I, w- I would say that has potential for a really good rebound would be Coinbase. Uh, Coinbase is down 60% from its all-time high. They had 43 million users at the end of 2020, and they more than doubled that this past year in 2021 to over 89 million users. Um, so you can see that's just incredible growth just in one year. Uh, and Coinbase is extremely easy to use. Um, whenever somebody asks me how to buy Bitcoin or Ethereum, I usually just lead them right to Coinbase. Um, they're, they're really friendly. It's easy to link up your bank account or a credit card um, and, and purchase um, not even just Bitcoin or Ethereum, but there's a ton of other crypto coins on there that a lot of people like. Um, so I think that would be uh, really beneficial for a lot of people. Mm-hmm. And Coinbase has um, two really nice features that I, that I really like. One of them is they have like a staking feature. So some of the coins that you can buy, you can just keep them on Coinbase and you don't have to do anything, but every couple of days or a week, depending on what kind of coin it is, there'll be coins that just drop, get dropped into your wallet and you don't have to pay for them. It's free. So I think that's going to do, um, be really well for a lot of people that maybe even during a, a downtrend in crypto, um, they're just going to be engaged because they realize that they're still getting coins. They don't have to do anything. So that's going to keep, um, user engagement up, I believe, uh, very, very well. And <clears throat> another thing would be, uh, they have a tax center, um, on Coinbase. So, a lot of people new to, to crypto might not know if you have to pay for ta- how to pay taxes on it or if you have to. Um, short answer is yes, you definitely have to. Um, but Coinbase makes that really easy for people. You click the tab, um, depending where you live, it, it sets it up for you and shows you how to do it. And I think that'll, that also plays um, um, very nicely for, for the government. The government's always looking at, at crypto, you know, um, 
always keeping an eye on one and making sure that companies are, are um, following the rules and regulations. So I think that Coinbase having that tax um, document on there, they're not gonna, I really don't think they're gonna have much issue from government. It's government kind of, uh, you know, likes that they're helping with that, um, that aspect of crypto. Okay. Uh, the last one I think can do really well would be DraftKings. DraftKings is a sports betting company mm -hmm. uh, that is legal uh, throughout the States and into Canada. Um, last year they did, uh, in, they did 1.3 billion in 2021 in revenue and they're projecting growth of 50% in 2022, another 30% in 2023. Um, and they, so they've been really focusing on, on their growth and their user acquisition. Um, and they've also been spending a lot of money on legislation, uh, online um, gambling and online sports betting. There's a lot of red tape they have to cut through. Um, and DraftKings has been proving to do exactly that. Um, as like I said, they've been going all throughout the states and into Canada. I know they're talking to some companies uh, overseas, so they're really just trying to um, really trying to grow. Um, and now, last week, um, DraftKings reported earnings that were great earnings, but the stock price had actually dipped. Mm -hmm. And I believe they did because their operational expenses were higher than they had expected. Mm -hmm. But if you look at it in the in the long term, these operational expenses are really for all the expansion that they've been doing. And once they get customers and these customers keep on coming back, the revenue is just going to keep on growing. Their user base is going to keep on growing. Um, so I think they're just really setting themselves up for the long haul, um, which is really what exactly what you want to see in, in growth stocks. And just like Coinbase and, and Robinhood, um, their, their platform is really easy to use. I've used it myself. Um, I've played with friends. It's very, very simple. And in this day and age, people, you know, want things fast. They want them quick right at their fingertips. Yeah. And Robinhood, Coinbase, DraftKings, it's all can be on an app on your phone, sit on the couch and, and do it and, and have fun. And I think all these companies are really going to grow their user bases, which will grow revenue. And in time, people will see how much the revenue is growing and how much these platforms are growing. And people will come in and, and bid up these, these stocks. Dan, I, I just really enjoyed hearing your breakdown and comprehensive breakdown of why these stocks are prime for a rebound. So despite their recent declines, they really show promise. So Dan, thank you so much for tuning us in and having us home in on Robinhood, Coinbase and DraftKings. So thank you so much for joining us today and sharing those insights. Awesome. Well, thank you for having me. Oh, you're welcome, Dan. Take care. All right. Bye. So a big thank you again to Dan for joining us today. And thank you, Bull Profits Nation, for tuning in as always. And remember that you can follow Paul and me on Twitter at Guru and at A Lancaster Guru. And if you want to stake your claim in America 2.0 and disruptive innovations, I encourage you to please check out Paul's Profits Unlimited Research uh, Stock Service. It's really a great way in to learn more. You can click the strong hands icon icon right here over my shoulder to get all those details. Have a great week ahead and until next time everyone, take care.